Hello Taurus, happy weekend to you. I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Extra message. Wow, you're missing your soulmate. Yeah, you're missing them. You two are broken up right now, not really together. You don't feel you are in a relationship with them at this time. You feel alone. Yeah, you're not reaching out though. No. You feel that you have reasons, valid reasons to be disappointed in them, in this relationship. You miss them though. Yeah, you miss them, but you're not reaching out to communicate. Yeah, you're trying to give yourself time to adjust to being without them. You're trying to figure out if you're going to move on without missing them. You miss them though, but you're trying to ignore um, those feelings, um, to see if you can move on. You guys have a lot to discuss. Yeah. Look at this. They waiting on you. You waiting on them. Interesting. Neither one of you is reaching out. Their sword is pointing down. Your sword is pointing down. Let me see your subconscious position. Yeah. You let them go. You feel, even though you love this person still, you miss them or at least some aspects of this relationship, you felt emotionally unfulfilled in this relationship. Yeah, you felt emotionally unfulfilled, unhappy, alone. You felt alone. Huh. Universe, please show us what's come. I'm sorry, both of you are going through so much. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life. And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, it's like you feel communication is going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Communication is going to happen. Whether you reach out, they reach out, you bump into each other. Communication is showing up here. Yeah, this is how you view them. Kind of um, indifferent emotionally. Not really... Showing you that they are uh, excited about a relationship, kind of set in their ways, like to be alpha, not really expressing emotions, not committing. Yeah, this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. <clears throat> you are very curious how they're doing, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're planning. They are spying on you. They're showing up here as a fox, checking up on you. Curious what you thinking, feeling, and doing. Wow, you guys still love each other. Yeah, you see this? Ten of Cups. They love you. You love them. But there's a lot to discuss, to resolve, for this relationship to uh, be better, to continue. Yeah, you feel that you're not going to reach out to them, that they need to be the ones chasing you, extending the olive branch to you. Wow, you still love this person a lot. Look at this, the sun. Yeah, you miss them. But you had valid reasons to walk away. You see this? Yeah. You didn't feel treated fairly in this relationship by them. You see this? Something went wrong you see something was toxic and you don't want to be in a toxic relationship yeah you would rather be alone than be in a toxic relationship some of you are letting go of leo taurus capricorn and aries and sagittarius popping up here 
Cancer and Pisces. Anyway, no matter what sign they are, this is you trying to be very strong and move on with your life. Yeah. This person is not able to stop thinking about you. Yeah. Let me see what's going on with this extra card. And then we're going to ask about them towards you. Let's see. It was to show us. Um, hmm. What is going on? What's coming up for Taurus? How is Taurus currently doing? Yeah, you see? It's like you are anticipating this communication, even though you're not reaching out. This is you trying to figure out what to do because you still care for this person. You still think about them. You still miss them. This is you trying to figure out, do you reach out to them or do you wait for them to reach out to you? This is you trying to figure out what to do. <clears throat> you're so guarded with your heart because you don't want to go through additional heartbreak in your life. You've been through a lot of disappointing situations, relationships, connections in your life. You want something solid. You want a solid relationship. Yeah, you don't want to waste your time on mind games, frivolous connections, frivolous dating you want something solid because you know that's what you deserve, a solid monogamous relationship. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what's going on. I'm so sorry. Both of you are going through so much. This is heavy. You know, must be show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? I feel like I need to shuffle more. Their emotions are all over the place. I can feel it. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Especially emotionally. Let's see what's popping. Oh, they in love. This person is in love with you, but not expressing it. This is secret love, hidden love unexpressed love this person is in love with you yeah and they know they are in love with you because this is showing up in first position so they know that what they feel for you is real deep genuine love not some kind of crush that's gonna fade away they know they really love you but it's like they holding it all inside not expressing it to you not showing it to you not verbalizing it ah oh, so they hoping to see you. This is them hoping for reconciliation with you because they love you, which makes sense, right? Yeah, this means apologies, gifts, peace offerings. They're so worried. Um, you see, they have a lot of inner work to do because um, this person doesn't communicate effectively. They don't commit in a healthy way. It's something they haven't learned yet, but should have learned already. You see, a snake is showing up here, a serpent. This is them being distracted by frivolous things in life, frivolous people, parties. And yeah, you see this, this person needs to learn how to settle down, how to commit in a healthy way. Yeah, they used to kind of coming and going as they please, not committing. <clears throat> That's going to have to change if they want to be with you. You're not going to find this behavior acceptable in your life. This person is in love with you, though. I have to be honest. Yeah, I can't sugarcoat. They're not happy without you. No. And they're not happy with the life that they built for themselves. You see, they recognize that now. They're not happy uh, without you, and they're looking within so they needed to lose you to finally uh, look inside, um, address important issues that they have ignored um, over time. You see this? This is them trying to figure out, find themselves, figure out what it is they truly want out of life and relationship. Universe, please show us. They really love you. Wow, this person is Constantly thinking of you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. They're in shock because <laughs> the tower is here. This person did not expect to fall in love 
they thought they would just like be, oh, here they come one day and they leave the next. But they realize they're in love with you, that they can't just casually uh, forget you, erase you from their heart. You see, this is like a wake up call to them. Yeah, awakening, epiphany. Oh my goodness. Look how heartbroken, devastated they are over losing you. But uh, they have their hand on top of their mouth, which means that they don't want to show or tell how they feel heartbroken. This is them kind of silent about it, not expressing it, not verbalizing it, not showing it. This person is devastated over losing you because they love you, which makes sense. Because if they didn't love you, they wouldn't even think of you or miss you, right? They would have moved on with their life already. Look how patiently they're waiting to see what to do next. Ooh, there's a lot of secrets here. So there's a lot you don't know about this person. Yeah, it's like their past is a big mystery. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Huh. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? Yeah, they realize how important you are to them. They had to lose you to finally look objectively at this relationship and their behavior. Look, look how hurt they are. Uh, their ego is deeply bruised and they are heartbroken. They feel that whatever they did to betray your trust uh, wasn't worth losing you over. So if they treated you coldly and lost you because of that. They feel it wasn't worth losing you over. You see this? This person needs to learn how to communicate effectively. They're not the best communicators or the best listeners. Yeah, this is them trying to uh, figure everything out. What went wrong? What needs to be fixed? What needs to be corrected? What needs to be adjusted? What needs to be discussed? You see this? This is them trying to really look deep to find the answers. They want to learn from this experience. Yeah, I was worried about that. So, wow. <laughs> All these cards just fell down. Um, I was worried about that. So, this person has history of frivolous relationships not committing, coming and going as they please. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, rushing too quickly into intimacy. Yeah. You see, um, that's a challenge for them. Yeah. When they meet someone, they finally fall in love and they can't just casually leave. I'm going to pick up all those cards that, that just fell. Sorry, guys. They're new cards, so they are very slippery. Oh boy. Um, the cards that just fell, one of them is Empress and one of them is the Devil card, shows me that they are very attracted to you physically. But it's much more than that. They also attracted to the fact that you're not chasing them. You are not desperate for their attention. You recognize your worth value. You recognize that you don't need to be chasing anybody. And they respect that greatly. Yeah, because they're not used to people of your high quality. Let's see. You know, as we show us, what is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? Look. See, this is all emotions, cups, cups, emotions, feelings. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you. Yeah, you guys are so connected from past lifetimes. So even if you don't uh, end up together in this lifetime, if you really let each other go for good, you're going to see each other again in future incarnations. You have very long-standing soul history together with this person you see they realize they need to fix things they need to address things they need to be just they need to be mm, honest with you 
Wow. They questioning your feelings. What it is you feel for them at this time? Whether you miss them or not? Well, the only way they'll find out is if they interact with you, right? Talk to you, see you, spend time with you. Some of you are letting go of Aquarius and Libra. Wow, Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.